Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India, Norwegian Ham Ventures. What you see here is the Retivis RT3S DMR radio. And uh, you've probably seen this a lot of times, running the traditional Retivi software, where, which makes it perform like any Chinese DMR radio. But uh, this one has a little bit of a trick up its sleeve. But first of all, before we get started, this radio was provided to me free of charge from Retivis in order to try out OpenGD77 on. If that makes your angry spot tingle, I suggest you either take a deep breath, a cup of coffee, and then come back later, or that you probably don't watch this video at all. Nonetheless, I have not paid for this radio, but I was not paid to make this uh, video. I did, however, pay import and sales tax on it. So. With the formalities out of the way, let's turn it on and have a quick look here. Uh, and this is the radio where it boots up on OpenGD77. And I'm just going to try to zoom in a little bit closer so it's easier for you guys to see. So this is the radio and um, this is OpenGD77. And what's fun about OpenGD77 is that it's a firmware made by hams. And not only made by hams, but made for hams as well. So if you look on the top here, on the top left, it says DMR. That's because it's in DMR mode. It's in time slot 1. We're going out with 1 watt. Color code 1. The GPS is on. And we have 55% battery. Uh, I'm not going to do a full review of OpenGD77 yet, because I haven't tried it out long enough to, to make up my opinion. But it seems like a solid operating system for a uh, phone. You can switch between VFO and memory modes as you suspect. And let's just look at the menus here. And it's it's a rolling menu. So we're on the zone menu. We have contacts, channel details, all the usual stuff. And we have an S meter here. Not really sure how useful that is, but it's always nice to have. Uh, let's check out the firmware info. And this is Open MD UV380. And the belt is uh, 27th of February this year, so it's, it's a month old. Uh, you can, uh, you have a lot of options. Last heard, radio, all the usual stuff until we get here. Satellite, because this radio can do satellites and can automatically correct for Doppler shift. That's one thing I'm going to try out for sure. Uh, let's go up to options here and just take a look. And there's really one thing I want to show you because you can see it now with the black background. Uh, if we take this down to here to color invert. You can get it with a white screen, white background, black background. I think the black background looks a lot tidier. There's also a couple of nice things here though. If we go back to VFO mode here, you can just hold the pound key. And look at that, you get a band scope. Really, really nice. So that's just a quick overview from, from right now. I'm just going to demonstrate a powered QSO and we'll take a look at Talk Group 91 just for demonstration purposes. So let's switch this to Parrot first. LB0 Fox India testing Parrot. LB0 Fox India testing Parrot. Testing parrot, LB0, Fox India testing parrot. So as you can see that works and the sound quality is actually really good for, for DMR. Let's turn on to Talk Group 91 and see if there's any traffic there. Global wing uh, 1800. And you see it shows up with the call sign, the talk group, signal meter right up here. Um, so it's pretty versatile. I'm really looking forward to taking a deep dive into OpenGD77. So let's just turn it on and show you what, I, what really shows that this is made by hams. 
when you turn it off it says 73 so thank you for watching this video on the uh, Retivis RT3S and more so uh, oh sorry uh, and more so uh, open GD 77 um, I find that the open GD 7 firmware is something that really adds functionality to these cheap DMR radios the normal firmware is is good enough for what it does but the the open GD 77 is made by hams and for hams and and since Retivis actually supports the use of this open firmware on the radios I mean why not try it? It's, it's relatively easy. There is some risk to it as there always is when uh, using uh, open source uh, firmware and installing alternative firmware. I'm not going to go into how to install this because there are several different ways for several different radios. But if you go to the OpenGD77 website, there are good guys there. So thank you for watching this first overview on OpenGD77. I'll be back with more videos both on how to use it and how to program the radios once you have OpenGD77 installed. Thank you for watching. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India, and this is LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this content and want to support me a little bit more, there are ways down below to do that. You can either buy me a coffee or you can support the channel on Patreon. Make sure you check out those links if you want to. And until next time, 7-3.